Okay, so what you want to do is once you have loaded up into Sonic Speed Simulator, what you want to do is as soon as you come in, you should see this RB Battles Synth City Obby. Now, what you want to do is just head on straight through inside of there, and then you will get teleported to the Obby. Then what you want to do is you have to find 25 of the 30 switches. Now, I'm going to try and show you where all of them are. So the first one is if you come over straight to the right. So basically what you want to do is just follow where I go and I'll just keep like telling you ish where to go. So what you want to do is come all the way up the ramp and then come over to where like the Eggman sort of thing is. And then tap that one over there. Then jump over to this platform over here and come out the door. Make sure not to fall off. And then jump over to this platform. But before you carry on go around, you want to jump up behind you and you should try and get that what switch. Then jump back over. Then what you want to do is go left past the ramp and into this little corner and claim that switch. Then what you want to do is go up the bounce pad just because it's a bit easier. Then go on top of the building where the ramp should be. What you want to do is fling yourself up the ramp and try and land in this like metal cage sort of thing. And there will be another switch here. Now what you want to do is hop out of that cage and then jump onto this like... It looks like a, um, a conveyor but it's not because it doesn't actually push you. Jump up and then you should see this switch over to your left. Now this will be the sixth switch you're going to get. Then what you want to do is come up the stairs, making sure you do not die as well. Because if you die, your um, score will reset. And over to the right, there should be a switch over here. Now what you want to do is you want to hit this little bounce pad over here. And now this will shoot you over to this sort of like main area. Then what you want to do is you want to come over to here. And there should be these ramps with some platforms. What you want to do is you want to work your way up all these platforms. Now obviously be careful you don't fall off just because, well you don't like reset but like everything goes, like you start back at the beginning. Then what you want to do is follow along this strip in the middle and go all the way over to the left and you should see the 8th switch you are going to be getting. Then what you want to do is just run all the way back over the middle just because it's a bit easier. Then come over to here and then go basically down the other side of the glass sheet and you should see a, another one over here. Now what we are going to do is we are going to come out over to here and you should see another switch just next to the ramp. Now this obby does like mean you can go in like any different places at the same time because it's like bits down there, bits over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to hop on over to here and you should be able to get the 11th switch. And I think maybe there is a 12th one over here, maybe not. Oh yeah, so you go on top of here and then jump up onto this building over here. Now this is a new area I think that we haven't been to yet. So if we come up over here, let me just check the other side that there is not a switch on here. I don't think there is, yep, awesome. Then we're gonna jump on top of this building and then work our way up going on top of here. And you should see there is another metal cage. Now what you want to do is you want to get off on this ramp sort of thing here, hold the space bar and get over to here. This will grant you your 12th switch. Now then what you want to do is you should see these bounce pads as we did earlier, jump onto these bounce pads and come up here. Now up here will be the 13th and 14th switch, so come up over to here, jump over the barrier and claim this switch here. Then what we're going to do is just try and get out of here and then go into this sort of like facility area. The next switch you're going to want is under the far left one. And then what you want to do is you want to jump up on top of the generators and you should see this switch over here. There we go, now we've claimed that one. Next what you want to do for the 17th switch is come and claim this one over here. That's what we're going to do, there we go, it's going to get this one. Then we're going to jump on top of this like triangle sort of building and then go down here to claim some more switches. Now here we go, we're going to jump on top of this yellow thing to claim the our 18th switch. Now as again, I, I will keep saying this because this has taken me multiple tries to do. Um, you want to um, not to die as this will be, well, very, very annoying when you are doing it. Then what you're going to want to do is try and jump over to the side of the building where your 19th switch will be. And if you want to, you can then just jump back as you did, as you where you came from. Then what you want to do is head on down here where you should be able to find your 20th switch. Now we are only 5 more to go. Then what you want to do, I'm just going to turn my graphics setting up just a little bit just so I can see a bit more. Just so it's a bit easier. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch myself off this uh, red ramp and then fall onto this building over here. Then what you want to do is jump up to this ramp and you should see the 21st switch over here. Then, as before, jumping over another big building, landing on this one, granting you your 22nd switch. 
Now, if you want to, you can come over here. And then we're practically almost back where we were before. So you want to go back onto where the spring pad is. And then do all of these jumps again to get like near-ish to the top. Because we're going to like follow like the same way we were going earlier. But then what we're going to do is we're going to take a different path rather than going a way we went before. So what we're going to do is just run. Oh, oh almost fell off there. Uh, go all the way back round to where the ramp is. And then jump all the way over to here again while getting on top of this building. Then we're going to carry on jumping up all the way over here. And then go back up. Make sure you ensure to jump this gap on this building. And going, oh, I'm going to put my graphics down saying just one more so I don't lag and die, which would be very annoying. Then what we want to do is hit these spring pads over here. And then go over and hit these spring pads we hit earlier. And come back over to here. Now there is a different two ways you can go up here. So we went down there to the um, left. What you want to do is you want to come back up onto the triangle sort of building sort of thing. And then go up to the top where you should see some more switches. So if you go next to this generator, that will get your 23rd switch. Come over to this building over here. You should see another switch on top of this generator. So if we just jump up onto here, touch this switch. And then we're going to bounce off the bounce pads again. And then if we want to jump up over onto this platform over here, I think there should be a another. Yep, here we go. Here is the 25th and final one we are going to be getting. There we go. Now what we want to do is we want to complete the obby. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump up onto this bounce pad. And what we're just going to keep doing is just keep going up all up these bounce pads. You should see like a green like circle target thing to sort of do. Once you've done that, you can just press the space bar or you can just walk up to them. Now, once you're at the top, you should see this, like, box thing. Oh, with Russell over here. What does Russell want to say? Not so fast yet. Did you find 25 switches yet? If not, you'll need to search back a bit more. But we have found all these switches. Now, when you are up here, do not go on this replay obby bit or your entire thing will reset. Then what you want to do is just jump on top of the finish button. If it actually wants to let us do that. There we go. And then, bang, we have now got the Sonic Army Battles Challenge Badge. Um, and then, Sabrina, what's she going to be saying? So you made it to the top, huh? What about trying to get your best time? Enter here, so that's if you want to try and get a better time than your previous score. So if you're wondering why this video was just out a bit later than some of the normal ones, that is because this one did take me a while to do. So that's why I'm this one is out a bit later. But thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.